hi there welcome back to this channel in this video today i'm going to teach you how to call wild animals in the luya language come with me welcome back thank you for clicking on this video my name is doreen akesa if you're new here and in this channel we talk about or rather we learn the luya language of western kenya and once in a while we also learn about our culture so if this kind of content excites you you may consider subscribing so that you don't miss out anytime i post a new video let's get right into it so wild animals wild animals are called tsisolo wild animals tsisolo i already did a video about domestic animals you can check it is it here or here i'm going to link it up so that you can see the video about domestic animals so let's start wild animals tsisolo tsisolo that is the translation for wild animals lion the king of the jungle lion the lion is called idalani the lion is called idalani the elephant is called inzofu elephant is called inzofu inzofu the hippo the hippopotamus the hippopotamus is called ifuvu 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 is written with a b and pronounced with a v ifuvu is the hippo the leopard the leopard is called ingwe the leopard is called ingwe the leopard is called ingwe then we have the rhino the rhino is called omuga the rhino is called omuga the rhino is called omuga and then we have this animal that looks like a cow but it's not a cow the buffalo the buffalo is called imboko the buffalo is called imboko so if you're somebody who is strong and somebody who is very who is a go-getter people may call you imboko the buffalo is called imboko imboko then we have the giraffe we have the giraffe the giraffe is called inzaya murumba inzaya murumba inzaya murumba that is the giraffe the crocodile the crocodile i really fear crocodiles by the way the crocodile is called iguena the crocodile is iguena iguena the crocodile lives in water the crocodile is iguena and then we have the monitor monita lizard monta lizard monta lizard is called imbulu monta lizard is imbulu imbulu is monta lizard monta lizard doesn't hear <laughs> i don't know whether they have ears maybe one day i'll try to capture one and check whether they have ears but they don't hear uh? they are like kind of like stupid so when somebody calls you imbulu um it means that you are kind of stupid <laughs> so the monta lizard is imbulu and then we have the animal that i fear most i can't even watch a video with these animals i can't even go to the zoo to watch these animals and this is a snake a snake is called inzuha a snake is inzuha a monkey a monkey is rihene a monkey is rihene that is a monkey a tortoise a tortoise is rihudu rihudu or okuhudu <laughs> if it is a big one tortoise is rihudu hyena or hyena hyena is otoyo na munyo otoyo na munyo i guess that name comes from the fact that the hyena is portrayed as very greedy in many stories the hyena is portrayed as being very 
greedy and kind of lazy if you ask me i don't know hyena is otoyo namunyu and then the hair is simuna the hair is simuna the hair is simuna the antelope is sijuaya the antelope is sijuaya antelope sijuaya and then we have this animal that i it just makes blood it just makes me um goose pimples just stand on my on my skin this is the chameleon the chameleon is the one that changes colors everywhere it goes if it lands on this wall it will turn into this color the chameleon is called lihaniaf lihaniaf that is the chameleon lihaniaf and the chameleon walks very slowly the one that <laughs> when you are growing up we used to say that the chameleon counts one two three four and then it steps one two three four steps i don't know that that is true anyway <laughs> And then we have this animal. I don't know whether it falls under wild animals, but I'll just say it anyway. It is called a rat. A rat is imbeva. I know a rat is not a wild animal. A rat is a rodent, right? But you can find rats in the bush, okay? <laughs> I just thought of the rat and I thought, okay, why not include the rat? And because I have included the rat, let me include the frog. The frog is... You know there is frog and toad frog and toad i'm told the frog is the one that lives in water the one that is slippery and that is called inenga frog is inenga you know i don't know sometimes i just feel like i don't know the difference between frog and toad which one is the one that is very rough and the one that lives on land most of the time i mean is it the frog or the toad so we have frog, the one that is rough, we call it rihere, 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 the one that is rough. I don't know whether it is a frog or a toad. And the one that is very smooth, the one that jumps from water, the one that lives in water and cannot survive for a long time on land is called inenga, inenga, inenga. So... If you're here and you're still watching at this time, thank you so much for watching up with this far. If you'd like to watch, if you'd like to learn more about the Luya vocabularies of animals, I did a video on domestic animals. You'd like to know how to call fruits. You'd like to know how to call other things like uh, kitchen vocabularies. You'd like to know how to call, um, how to make conversations. Then you can click this video here it is actually a playlist. You can click this playlist here and get to learn more about my lawyer language. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.